Hi everybody, welcome. This is Euro Maestro. Uh, we're going to do a quick video here, hopefully quick, on how to solve logic problems. If you'd like to follow along and do it with me, uh, you can download the app for free on Apple's App Store. Uh, it comes with 100 puzzles. You can see from the top of the screen that I've already solved 86 of them. You can see they come in different levels of difficulty. Uh, what I have remaining is challenging 4x5, extreme 4x6, and extreme 4x7. Uh, if you haven't done these puzzles before, basically you get some clues, which we'll see on the left-hand side of the screen. We have a grid on the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, so if you want to play along, we're going to do museum exhibits here under extreme 4x7. So just go to extreme 4x7 in the app and look for museum exhibits. Click on that and hit start playing, which I'm going to do in a second. And we can both play along at the same time. Uh, you can let me know what I'm doing wrong uh, or uh, maybe you'll have some questions for me on what I did or why I did it, and uh, we can go from there. So um, I'll try to comment every once in a while so you can see what I'm doing. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button, though, uh, as that helps. Let's go without further ado to museum exhibits. Hit the start playing. See the clues on the left-hand side. Uh, so if the first thing we see is a connection between Eritrea and 5,100 visitors. And then you just click, literally click off the corresponding boxes. Um, and so that was clue three. We're on clue four now. Let's do clue five. Clue six. Now clue six is a little different. Just cross it right out because you don't need that information anymore. Clue seven. Clue eight. And clue eight is an interesting one because we've already had some previous information. Uh, clue nine. Okay. Clue 10. All right, don't forget to click off the box on the bottom there. Ooh, clue 11 is Azerbaijan again. So, so not only do we have to click off the Norway, but we have to go back and click off the corresponding boxes in the 8800 column. Uh, clue 12 is armor exhibit one month after Philippines. Okay, but you have to remember, we already have a lot of boxes clicked off on the Philippines, so we can do the corresponding boxes again. Uh, and also, while we're here, we might as well do the um, uh, boxes for basketry, right? Lacquerware is a month after ceramics. And finally, from the last clue, 14, we see Norway's not 10,425 visitors. So once you do that, you just go back up, cycle back up to the top, go through them again, uh, because you will be able to make uh, additional conclusions. First two clues, not too interesting, but the third one is. Uh, so click that off. Oh, and that helps us with the fourth one, right? Uh, so we can see some things right away developing. Uh, so now, once you have the green dot, um, we can match up the corresponding columns uh, to get what we need to do. Oh, look at that. So that clue four really helped us out a lot. Uh, clue three is no longer interesting. Um, but let's follow the implications of this through. 
And you see it has a lot of implications for us so far. Um, oh yeah, it tells us where the Philippines is, which tells us that, uh, those two, armor and pescatry. And oh, this also tells us Azerbaijan, Norway. Wow, that really, it's amazing what, how much information you can get from just one clue. All right. Uh, so from the clue that told us about lacquerware and ceramics, we can check off those boxes. And here we just have like, it's the only, it's the only cell left in a row or column. We can just click it off. Wow. That was pretty nice. So you could just kind of follow along with what I'm clicking on. Now you might be doing this in a slightly different order. I'm just going through the clues in numerical order. You might choose to do them in a, a different type of order, which is fine. Well, we have all of the months and exhibits and most of the countries. Uh, so we're just missing a few things, which I'm sure we'll be able to figure out shortly. Oh yeah, this is really big here. Now we know that firearms is 10,425. Mm. Okay, look at that. We know Eritrea is there. And problem solved. All right, so now that um, it's all solved, you see there on the lower left-hand side, it'll say, congratulations, you're an expert. Um, if you do it a little bit um, slower, let's say, then um, you might not get the expert rating. It'll say, congratulations, you solved the problem the puzzle or something like that, I think. Not really sure. Um, yeah, so that's that's how you go about solving these, these puzzles. And um, so you can see all I'm doing is going through these clues one by one and checking off the boxes when it's an impossibility and then checking it twice, which produces that green dot when you know that this is the correct one. So for instance, clue number six, on uh, the left-hand side, the lacquerware presentation didn't happen in May. So you can just click uh, the intersection of lacquer, lacquerware and May with an X. Um, let's see, were there any direct ones in this puzzle? Mm, I didn't see any. But sometimes it'll, one of the clues might be uh, armor is in June. And then you just click it twice, armor is in June. And you just proceed like you saw that I did. And uh, that's how you solve these, these puzzles. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, just put them in the comments and I'll respond as needed. Thanks. Bye.